Hey everybody, Brayden here bringing you a cheap opinion in politics and today we're going to finally talk about Facebook's new cryptocurrency that has magically popped out of thin air because only those of us that are really tracking all of this know that they've been working on a digital currency. Now, why is Facebook uh, why is Facebook and everyone else calling it cryptocurrency? Um, you know, it's got a good it's got a good ring. It's what people really recognize. But uh, part of this video is going to be showing that Libra is not cryptocurrency. When you think of cryptocurrency, the one you you uh, associate most and think of that most people think of is Bitcoin. So if we look at this chart, Bitcoin versus Libra. Uh, the, the these are four major major differences. I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you want to go check out more of this uh, article in relation to the to the where this ch chart originates. But I'm just gonna highlight two things: centralization and value. So essentially, with Bitcoin, no single entity owns it, and with Libra, well, obviously Facebook would would be in charge of their own digital currency, so to speak. Uh, as far as value goes, well, Bitcoin isn't tied to the dollar or fiat currencies in general, uh, whereas Libra is. Uh, and that within itself is usually one of the main reasons why people would go into Bitcoin is to get away from the fiat system. Because people, you know, you know, the dollar is here today, but it could be gone tomorrow, which if it is, goodbye, uh, goodbye the entire financial world as we know it. But uh, that's basically one of the big, big draws to, to cryptocurrency in general. Now, um, I don't, when I first read about Libra, I didn't really, you know, the thing I thought of it, I was like, you know, this is kind of like a, uh, like PayPal 2.0. Uh, is the way I, I looked at it, and then I scroll down further in the comments, and uh, somebody's like, "Yeah, what is it? What you know? It looks like there's, you know, it looks like they just improve. It looks like they're just trying to improve PayPal or something." And I was like, "Yeah, it's it basically PayPal 2.0, and that in a way is kind of what Libra is. So in terms of PayPal, where you're transferring uh, fiat currencies with." Libra, you would basically be transferring your currency in the form of a Facebook digital coin. Congratulations. Now, of course, Facebook being smart of all the uh, um, uh, lashback that they've been getting uh, since you know Cambridge Analytical and, and censoring censorship, uh, they're smart to, in part, not uh, not tie their name to Libra. But really to drive this notion home that Libra, in my opinion, is PayPal 2.0, uh, we should ask ourselves a question, who has been tasked with overseeing Libra? Uh, you know, who, who's going to run it? Because obviously it ain't going to be Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, it's definitely not going to be him. Well, it just so happens to be by a guy by the name of David Marcus. Now... Do you know where Davis Marcus used to do before he took over in terms of Libra? He is the former CEO, want to take a guess, of PayPal. Wow. So in a way, this kind of goes to draw back to and, and further my point of, uh, yeah, th this, is, this is very much PayPal 2.0. They're getting a guy that has experience in handling of what PayPal is and bringing that and developing that for Facebook and that being Libra. Uh, now, a lot of governments, you know, we had our own, pre oh, President Trump was uh, was tweeting about uh, the cryptocurrencies along with Libra. And uh, members of Congress, you know, there, there's kind of the bait. Uh, there's a lot of mistrust, obviously, uh, with regards to Facebook. And that's going to be one of the biggest challenges uh, to Libra and, and getting this off, but but going around calling uh, Libra crypto now is it a digital currency? Yes, that is very much what it is. It is a digital currency. That's fine. But going around calling Libra a cryptocurrency, I definitely would not be talking economics or or taking financial advice from these people. Um, I would be very careful about uh, going around those lines because the other thing is. As far as cryptocurrency goes, you know, we, we even had, if if Libra really was this cryptocurrency, and I'm telling you that, that Libra is not 
or let me in general, let me back up. Cryptocurrency in general is not tied to a fiat system, to a fiat currency like a dollar. Why would central why would central governments around the world then I mean not central government, central bankers then be really not so much answering on the question, Jerome, but our own Fed chair, Jerome Powell, wasn't really all that bothered by Libra. And why Why would he? Uh, I mean, Libra is is not Bitcoin. Now, if this was Bitcoin, I can tell you right now, central bankers would very much try and, and squish uh, Bitcoin becoming the, the, center, the center of trade. Uh, it would completely take away... Um, it would completely change uh, central banking, essentially. But, uh, you know, this is kind of my overall point. I, I wanted to just stress that, you know, Libra is not cryptocurrency. Uh, is this going to be successful for Facebook? Well, again, you know, they're, they're going around. They're, they're having to deal. They, they don't even have their name tied to it. They're, pretty, they're trying really hard not to, not to make people think that Facebook is in charge of Libra, but they are. Um, and the, the public does have trust issues in particular with Facebook and their, and how their, uh, data is handled. Uh, personally, you know, as far as Libra goes, I, it, it's going to be somewhat of a stretch. You know, if, if Facebook cannot overcome, um, as far as the trust issues and that being in terms of how you handle people's data and, also going around and silencing people on the web, there's not going to be very many people who are going to want to use Libra. Well, yeah, I mean, they keep taking down my posts about about blue bonnets in Texas, but uh, you know what? I can't wait to go use Libra. That's stupid. But uh, yeah, I think those are part of the two major challenges, and we'll have to wait and see if they if they get over that. But in the end, this is where we are, and. That is my overall point as to why Bitcoin is cryptocurrency. Libra, in a way, is PayPal 2.0. And that, my friends, is the reality of the world.